Hey friends, it's Jenny, and I'm here to share with you the first layout that I put together for my Through the Seasons kit. For this layout, I use the Simple so Stories Sunshine and Happiness Collection. And again, this is from 2016, so eight years ago. Now, as you can see here, I have a frame around a mat. The mat is actually a piece of basil, and this is in cream puff. And what I did with this is I used several different shimmers products on here. So I used a colorings in Don't Citron Me. I used a spritz in Caribbean Sunset. I used a Vibes in Sunset Strip. And I used another Vibe in Seize the Day. I didn't want the background, the cream puff, to be just plain. So just going ahead and doing the spatter method with each one of these, I was able to, you know, just go around um, and zhuzh up the background a little bit. So this background paper, so this frame here is actually, and I saved the little strip so I could tell you exactly which papers they were, is this one called High Five. Now, I did use both sheets of this, one, and, and I, so I still have the middle, because I gutted this, I, I, I didn't use, um, I did gut it. So I do, I do still have the middle of this, but I did use this side as well um, to frame this yellow paper here. The yellow paper is actually this, from this one it's called Shine Bright. And it actually has a sunburst on it. You can't, and I just wanted it very little, um, but I wanted that yellow in the background there. This sun and cloud is actually from the Cut Aparts, and it was just from the 2x12, 4x12, 6x12 page element. So I just fussy cut this out. I've got that up on some foam dots. And then this last paper is called, oh yeah, and it's this, this stripe paper. So those are the papers I used. On here you'll see I've got ephemera tag, I've got enamel dots, I've got some of the brads, this twine I used is that lawn fawn twine, lawn trimmings that I put into my kit. And I just thought the multicolor went well with the collection. This is called Pink Lemonade. So I did, I just thought that the mixed up colors looked really well. Again, I've got, so I've got three of the, what do they call these? Self-adhesive brands. I've also used some of the enamel dots. I have a frame here and a frame just tucked back here that you see. This one I made a shaker pocket out of using my, oh boy, BGM box exclusive. exclusive. What is this? Come on, shout it loud, shout it, buttons galore and more. So this came in the, what month are we in? July box, so this is the summer box. And I just thought the nice green went well. So I did make a little shaker pocket here. Um, we've got a chipboard camera from the chipboard from this collection, as well as a chipboard flower here, and a chipboard flower here. This is a sticker, and the this is ephemera, ephemera, and ephemera. So I, I used quite a bit, you know, I, I took out the kit, I figured I'd start with this collection. I got this one layout done, but I remembered to pull in, you know, like the mixed media. I remembered to use the twine that I put into the kit. I'm happy with how the layout came out. It's just my little one with her new Elsa and Anna swimsuit. I know you've heard me call her Bee before. We call her uh, Quinny Bee. She's had a Bee swimsuit since she was born. And now that she's, you know, gonna be four, so she's so so grown up, she wanted to pick out a new one and she picked out Elsa and Anna. So that's my first layout with my Through the Seasons kit. Let me know what you think. Are you playing with Through the Seasons? I know that there's the, you know, Through the Seasons as well as Kill a Kit. Um, and it's 
seems like they're using the fam same format where it's going to be quarterly. Um, Through the Seasons is hosted by Jeannie Linguini over at the Girl Cave. And the How to Kill a Kit with Style is by Becky. I cannot think of her last name. Um, but... Yeah, there's, it, there's Facebook groups that you can go ahead and take a look at um, if you're interested in either one of them. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Let me know what you think, and you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.